As some lawmakers continue to question Dr. Anthony Fauci and the origins of the coronavirus, we are hearing a lot about gain-of-function research. But what exactly is gain-of-function, and does the Catholic Church say anything about the use of it? Joining us now is Dr. Joseph Meany, president of the National Catholic Bioethics Center. Dr. Meany, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, can you talk to us about gain-of-function research, what it is, and why would this type of research be conducted? Right. So gain-of-function research is essentially making super viruses. It's a research that aims to either make uh, viruses more transmissible or more virulent. So why would you ever want to create a super virus? Basically to study them and to see, find ways in terms of uh, biosecurity to prevent that. And some of that is like opposition research in terms of germ warfare, et cetera. But it's a very, very hazardous thing to do. And does the Catholic Church have any teaching about this type of research on a moral level? Certainly, there needs to be an enormous amount of precautions, right? Because, I mean, the, the potential of, of a virus, super virus, getting out and killing so many people is, is real. Um, and, you know, there are some theories about COVID that, that are kind of moving in that direction. So clearly, the church would say you have to, to be very, very cautious how you would do this and, and really have very strong proportionate reasons and, and safety measures put into place. Otherwise, this would be highly immoral to do. Yeah, and it seems like, you know, this type of research can be very dangerous. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Right. So, I mean, essentially, if, if you modify a, a virus or, or a pathogen and, and make it more transmissible or, you know, sometimes they'll change it to where, you know, it, it becomes airborne, huh, where before it could only be transmitted through blood or, or skin contact, that that creates the potential for a weapon, you know, a bioweapon. And so that is a, a very scary possibility. And, and there was a lot of research on that during the Cold War. In fact, there were, there were pauses that were put into place to say, wait, we shouldn't be doing this at all. Um, I, I want to switch gears, still kind of sticking with, uh, you know, coronavirus here. But uh, several schools are requiring that students have to take the coronavirus vaccine before they can return in the fall. What do you think of this requirement, and can they do that? Yeah, so it is problematic, right? Because uh, the best ethical decision making is made with serenity, with all the information available, and as a voluntary choice. And what a ma mandate does essentially is tell a person that you can't work or you can't study unless you make this choice. And so that's a problem, uh, particularly because the COVID vaccines uh, all have ethical issues. Uh, you know, the, the association with uh, abortion drive cell lines, et cetera. So we at the NCBC do not think it's appropriate uh, to be putting mandates on students students or others. And there are a lot of reasons for that. But the, the main reason is that, you know, it should be a voluntary choice. It should be something that uh, is discerned in conscience rather than imposed from above. And Dr. Mean, before I let you go, you know, kind of speaking with this, the requirement for the vaccines at school, we're also seeing a lot of places, places of business, um, maybe allowing certain people who've been vaccinated to, say, in a restaurant, sit in one place and those who have not in another. Is that ethical? Can they do that? So it is true that if, if individuals, you know, are not vaccinated, they might have to take extra precautions, and, and that can be allowable, but there's a, there's a fine line there. You can't sort of start discriminating and, and refusing to serve people or, you know, treating them poorly, but only putting into, you know, common sense health measures, maybe requiring masks more, things like that could be done, but you wouldn't be able to, say, put in a travel ban and saying only people who are vaccinated can get on the bus, you know, or things like that, because then it would start to become undue discrimination. Well, Dr. Meany, thank you so much for your time today and weighing in on this for us. We really appreciate it. Dr. Joseph Meany, president of the National Catholic Bioethics Center, thank you again. Thank you.